The floor goes to the International Organization for the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination. Thank you, Madam Vice President. E. Ford and Geneva International Center for Justice welcomes the report of the Special Representative of the Secretary General. The report identifies the progress made so far without minimizing the efforts that still need to be done. Conflicts have an appalling impact on communities, and this is most notable against children who remain vulnerable and defenseless. Whether in Syria, the DRC, Myanmar, Iraq, or Yemen, the situation of children in conflict zones is most urgent. Any report stating difficulties to access to information cannot at the same time claim progress. More alarming, the protection of children in armed conflict has been a subject discussed for decades. We cannot afford a lessons learned approach anymore. According to the report of the Secretary General, 24,422 violations were committed against children in 2019, about 7,747 were recruited in armed conflicts, and some 10,173 children have been killed or maimed. These are not numbers of an international community that has learned its lesson. Now, non-actors are posing a significant obstacle to an international order based on state actors. We encourage all efforts to tackle this predicament. It is not sufficient to only rely on and discuss with states and regional security mechanisms. The international community needs new, bold, and innovative strategies. Such strategies were needed yesterday. On the other hand, we remain confused as to the Secretary General's decision to remove from its shame list some of the violators. Nothing justified such a move, and now we fear a trend towards neglect of the issue. I thank you.